the oligarchs in Russia are starting to disappear one at a time. They're all getting these weird diseases, heart attacks, uh, committing suicide, butchering their family members. It's a terrible thing, uh, except they're not doing it. They're being assassinated one at a time. If they dare to speak out against the war or criticize in any way Vladimir Putin, He's very Stalinist-like, and I've talked about this many, many times, and he's got the Wagner Group and other assassins working for him, and they're reaching into other countries. Now, these men are men of means. Some of them are worth hundreds of millions, some of them are worth billions. But it doesn't stop Vladimir Putin from knocking them off. And so far, he's knocked off seven, and I think today he's knocked off an eighth. It's really quite shocking. So let's take a look at this clip, and then I want to get into it a little bit more detail from Newsweek. Go. This guy is a vicious, pathological psycho, Putin. And the idea that we have elements in our media that really defend him and defend what's going on and then wrap themselves in the idea that we don't want to drag America into a war. But he's dragging America into a war. Russia started a war in Europe. Obviously, it invaded Ukraine. It was intending to invade other countries. You better keep an eye on Poland. And you know, our friend Professor Paul Kengar Groth said he wrote a piece today in the American Spectator that's worthy of comment here. And he's an expert on communism, particularly Russian communism, the Soviet Union. He's written several books. He's a brilliant man, a good friend. And Vladimir Putin yesterday gave his May 9th speech, May 9th when they assisted and we assisted in defeating the Nazis. And he goes on about how Ukraine is Nazified, which is so preposterous, it's idiotic, since the president of Ukraine is Jewish, the first lady is Jewish, the people voted him in, and he had uh, family members killed in the Holocaust. I mean, think about that. When you think about this, Stalin did the same thing. In fact, one of Stalin's lieutenants, Beria, you may have heard of him, was one of the major assassinators if you will, uh, he had Stalin assassinated because he feared Stalin was going to assassinate him. And that's what goes on, this, this repulsive, poisonous intrigue at the highest levels of the uh, Communist Party and the government. But in any event, this is what Putin's doing. And, and among other things, Putin also said that the United States and the West do not give Russia enough credit for helping to defeat Hitler. And as Ken Gore points out, this is a line these Russian dictators, murderers have used since the 1940s, after the end of World War II. And of course, Russia was very important. But he points out Russia also unleashed Hitler. There was the Hitler-Stalin pact. And Poland was uh, invaded from the West and the East. 
from the West and the East, from the West with Germany, from the East with Russia. And he points out, so Stalin helped create the, uh, the Hitler military machine and supported it until, of course, Russia was attacked by the Third Reich. Uh, and very few people ever talk about this because they don't understand it. So I'm saying keep your eye on Poland. Poland has been very aggressively assisting Ukraine. Poland does not want another situation in which it is conquered by either the Marxists or the fascists. Um, and they're very concerned about it. And they should be. And they've been a, really the leaders, I would argue, the Poles and the Brits in taking on Russia. And uh, Biden has been, uh, as I keep saying, a, dollar late, a day late and a dollar short. Uh, and those of you who say it's none of our business, I'm tired of explaining why it's our business. If you still believe that, then believe it. As if, uh, if we don't assist the Ukrainians and all of a sudden inflation will go down, the border will be secure, and uh, hamburgers will be available uh, galore. It's just not true. Want to see more? Sign up for Levin TV.